Hey, this is Matt, and you're listening to Bluegrass Jam Along, the podcast for anyone and everyone who plays bluegrass. So, this week we are playing Roll in My Sweet Baby's Arms. Um, I'm not going to sing it. Those of you who know me will be very pleased to hear that. Um, I'm going to play the tune on the guitar and play back up behind it so you can. Um, you play the melody, you can take breaks, that's up to you. This is the Jam Along episode, so it's me playing back up, then me playing the melody, uh, and then we keep going three times through, swapping over, as always. Uh, we're in the key of G at 75 BPM, and you will find a chord sheet at bluegrassjamalong.com, along with chord sheets for all the other episodes we've done. Uh, and that is it. So I'm about to count us in, and off we go. One, two, one, two, three, four... So that was Roll In My Sweet Baby's Arms. Um, let me know if that works for you, if you think that's a useful thing. We haven't really done any songs before. It's been fiddle tunes, but I think this is one we're all going to come up against in jams when we get to that point. So it's a good one to practice, good one to work on, chance to work on some breaks um, and just playing the melody. Um, pretty much as I record this, I've just had the 5,000th download from the podcast, which is fantastic. Um, I just wanted to thank everybody who's downloaded any episodes at all, uh, particularly the guys over at the Facebook Bluegrass Guitar Group. Hi, everybody. 
Um, and everybody at Mandolin Cafe, always nice to get the mandolin players in there. And they've been really supportive and really great. So that's a big thanks to them too. Um, but thanks to all of you. Every one of those downloads is very much appreciated. Um, and looking forward to many more episodes. So that is it for now. And I'll see you next time. Happy picking. Bluegrass Jamalong is proud to be sponsored by Collings Guitars and Mandolins, making some of the finest guitars and mandolins in the world since the 1970s. Visit collingsguitars.com and find out why.